I am here in the Homewood Suites Adina, Minneapolis. Homewood Suites by Hilton, Adina, Minneapolis. And we are here in suite 237. We really like this suite a lot because there is something unusual about this suite, which is rare and very difficult to find and also very expensive. We are here for two nights just while we are looking for apartments here in the Twin Cities before we fly to Boston on Friday. It was hard to find a hotel like this. There are they're few and far between, I'll tell you that. And I'm paying almost $700 for the two nights in this hotel. And I'm gonna show you the room. When you come in the door, this is your view. And over to the left right away is the kitchen. I do like the colors in here. I like the blue and greens and stuff. You can see, here on the back of the door, we're on second floor. There are four floors in this hotel. We're way down here and you can see how big our suite is. You can also tell it in the hallway because the doors are so far apart, like how big this is. There are not very many like this room in this hotel. I don't even see any others on this floor like it. The elevators are over here in the center. This is like the lobbies right below here. Okay, so we have the... We had Shake Shack for dinner. There's a Shake Shack just down the street. We sat here at the table. Lot, yeah, sitting across the parking lot. There's a dishwasher. There's coffee maker and coffee stuff. There's a sink with a garbage disposal. There's a toaster oven. That's different. And a microwave. And a fridge freezer with an ice bucket on top. Nothing in it. Okay, and then let's see what kind of goodies we got in the cupboards. We have mugs, glasses, pitchers, some dishes, garbage can under here. We have some kind of limited, there's only two forks, two spoons, three knives. And again, your super sharp, <laughs> you know, in case you, know, you want to film like a thriller in your hotel room or something. You will notice actually, if you go back and watch the video that I'm gonna link up above, that from here to that side of the suite, this is basically identical in floor plan. The furnishings and finishings and stuff are different as the Homewood Suites that we were at in Anaheim, California for one night. This place is newer, nicer, and cleaner than that one which we left after one night because we were dissatisfied. There's a big dresser cabinet thing here with a big TV on it. Lots of shelves. Oh, that flips down. Wasn't expecting that. These are drawers. And so you could unpack because there's plenty of storage space here. Two armchairs. That is a sofa bed, and then this is like a big ottoman thing, which you could set stuff on even. Or if you're like me, I'll insert a picture here. When you're so exhausted, you just wanna lay down. We were joking that you could have a ninth person that could sleep there. Okay, there's two big windows, and we're right across, basically in the parking lot, of Southdale Center, which is a mall in Edina, Minnesota. This is west of the airport. There's, I can't even tell what anything is now because it's too dark, but this is the parking lot. Okay, and then to the left, climate control. This room has two queen beds. Now, and the kids are gonna sleep in here. And they have a nice big nightstand in between with a lamp and a drawer and the Bible and a phone. And they each get, they're each gonna have their own bed. Now in the one we stayed at in California, there was one king bed and then this was bigger this way. And there were the two bunk beds over there. And they have a big full length mirror and another big dresser with a huge screen TV on top. And then they have their own bathroom over here, 
which was the same setup that we had in Anaheim. But the finishings you can see are nicer. This countertop is nicer. There's a nice lighted mirror. So sink, get your Neutrogena products. And here's the closet with a luggage rack in it, laundry bag, iron ironing board, the kids' coats. And then, oh, yup, they fixed it here. The door opens in. So it doesn't hit the person that's standing here at the sink. And this toilet is straight. Unlike the one we had in California. It's just a little, everything's a little nicer. It's just nicer, you know, the wallpaper's nice, The it's cleaner. It's just a little nicer. But yeah, big improvement that the door opens in. In California, the door opened out, which was really dumb. Okay, but then what makes this room great for us is over here, there's another bedroom. And this is what we need to have all the time. We need two bedroom suites with three separate beds. So I'm gonna be in here and I have my own dresser with a big screen TV and I have a desk so I could like work here. There's a desk chair and a lamp. So basically just, just this part would be kind of like a one bedroom. Yeah, if, yeah. And there's actually two nightstands. This is a king bed. Another, and I pulled the luggage rack out of the closet. That's my hair scrunchy. There are no alarm clocks here, I notice. Which is different. Usually most Hilton properties have alarm clocks. And there's another big full-length mirror. And then I have my own bathroom. Which is almost identical to the kids except reversed. I have the sink. Oh, I didn't even notice. There's a drawer with the hair dryer in it. Some shelves. The closet again with another iron and another ironing board and another laundry bag and my coat. But I have, which makes me very happy, a walk-in shower. Which we're all gonna use. Yeah, which we're all gonna use because we all like the walk-in shower. But that's just kind of nice. And then the toilet, same artwork and everything. So that is our room at the Homewood Suites by Hilton, uh, Edina, Minneapolis. It's very nice, it's very spacious. So if you have the need for three bedroom, or three beds, or four, because you could also, you could actually sleep eight people here, you know, and nine if you wanna put somebody there. <laughs> this is a big room. This is a nice, oh, spacious room. Bed. See, yep, Ben's demonstrating for you. If you need a lot of sleeping space, or you're gonna be staying for a while, <laughs> this would definitely be comfortable for an extended stay. Thanks everyone for taking the time to watch this room tour. Give us a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed it. Have a great day and safe travels.